welcome to the Bold Talk by Joe podcast, coming straight to you from the Valley of the Sun, Phoenix, Arizona, your society and culture podcast. And now, let's welcome your host, Joe. Hello, peeps. Welcome back to another episode here at Bold Talk by Joe podcast. Hopefully, everybody is doing great. On one of my episodes, I mentioned that I started a gaming channel, and uh, I've been uh, live streaming that gaming channel. I'm, I'm on Twitch, and uh, my channel is OG Gaming Pops. Okay, that's my uh, that's my gaming channel, and I wanted to talk a little bit more, elaborate a little bit more on why I did it. Maybe it'll help out uh, some fellow podcasters or somebody else that's maybe thinking about it. So the reason why I did it is because I'm trying to get more views, right? And uh, gaming is really, really popular. Gaming is super popular. And uh, gaming channels, gaming podcasts, all that stuff is very popular. I don't have like the, I don't play, I don't, I'm not a, a hot, a full-time gamer, right? I don't get up and game. And I mean, I have a, I have a regular job, right? And I come home and I take care of stuff. Um, sometimes I get home and I can play a little bit, sometimes, but most of the time, you know, I, you know, I have to, you know, I'm an adult, right? I mean, and I know adults play games too, but I'm, you know, I, I have other things, right? Besides gaming that I have to take care of, right? When I get home or when I get up in the weekends and I have to do things, right? So I do, I, I do play games and I played a lot of games since I was a child, right? I played, you know, Atari and Nintendo and Super Nintendo and, you know, we were boys, right? Boys playing video games and, and all kinds of stuff. And, uh, I played a lot of games during my 20s and then around my 30s late middle like late 30s I stopped playing. I stopped playing games. I just it was taking a lot of my time, you know, cuz I would sit there and play for a few hours. Uh but now gaming is just it's even bigger than it was before and the uh, the platforms are enormous, right? And I was like, well if I already play video games now, I started playing a little bit, right? So I started playing like every other day, right? So I can get good at it again and and have a feel for it because I wanted to to stream. I wanted to have a streaming channel for video games to also promote my podcast. So I, I started that because since the community is so large that uh, once you start getting views and you start streaming, the more you stream, the more you do things, you know, you can actually go on there and... You know, there'll be people there that will read your profile and be like, oh, this dude has a podcast and that's pretty cool. And uh, maybe not necessarily like, go around and like your podcast, but at least, you know, they'll they'll follow you, right? They'll follow you and they'll want to, you know, hear some stories that you might have and this and that. So, you know, gaming, this gaming thing has been an eye opener for me because I've had to learn a whole new process on how to live stream and you know, how to get all kinds of stuff and webcam and a screen to play on, you know, because you can't really play on the TV. I mean, you can, but you know what I mean? It's, it's, uh, when it, you, if you, once you look it up, you'll understand if you're a gamer, you know, that it's better to have a gaming screen and all kinds of shit. So I went ahead and did all that. I got my little setup going and everything. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a process, right? Trying to figure it out making the account and doing all these things. But you know what I mean? It's just another tool for me. It's, uh, yeah, I enjoy playing the games, but it's also another tool for me to get out there. And even though my name on the tr- streaming channel is not Bull Talk by Joe, because I would be weird with it, what the hell? You know what I mean? So I do have it on my profile that I do have a podcast. You'd go check it out. It's Bull Talk by Joe. And, uh, you know, that way when you check my my uh, my streamer, my streaming, uh, my site on Twitch, on uh, on my page then you can read it and be like oh okay this guy has a podcast that's pretty cool or whatever but so there's i'm just doing it to reach out more people and also you know i some people think it's cool right oh this dude's you know he's in his 40s and he you know like he he plays games that's cool man that's og that's you know original you know like like the gamers from from you know, from, from back in the day and this and that. And, you know, a, a younger kids find this to be cool, right? So they follow older dudes that play video games because, you know what I mean? They look up to old gamers and stuff like that. So I was like, yeah, you know, my son was actually the one that pushed me to do this. I'm constantly telling him like, hey, man, like, uh, you know, like, what do you think I should do, man? I, I need to get 
you know, I'm trying to get the podcast going a little, like get more people, get more views, get more this. And and this is what he told me. So you guys are going to laugh. You all are going to laugh. So this is what he told me. He's like, so I was, I picked him up, right? And I'm like, yo. And I'm like, hey, dude, uh, you listen to my podcast? He's like, yeah, yeah, I listen to it like once in a while, that. And I'm like, what? Once in a while? Like, what do you mean, dude? He's like, yeah, you know, just, I mean, I listen to it. I listen to it. And I'm like, okay, so so what am I doing wrong, bro? Like, what? Help me out. Like, what am I doing? And he's a big time gamer, right? He's the gaming expert, right? He's like the the kid that like he's the Oculus master when on you know, that stupid thing, that Oculus thing that you wear. And uh, these kids live and breathe games, right? Gaming, uh, PC gaming, and all kinds of stuff, right? That's all he's all that's it. He's into. So uh, you know, and of course, like social media and shit like that, and. Uh, so, uh, so I'm like, so what am I doing wrong, man? What can I do to get, to push a little bit more, right? What, what, what do you think? What's, and I'm asking advice, right? From a kid, but you know what I mean? This kid is into this stuff. So like they're into this media stuff. So like what, you know, it's, there's no other better person to ask, but somebody that is on this stuff and on social media all day long, right? So I'm like, what do you think I should do, right? And he's like, honestly, that I think you should tell, I should, you should do what I told you before. It's like get a Twitch and get a streaming channel, that, and start playing games. And I'm like, okay, bud, but that takes a lot of time, you know. He's like, nah, you gotta do it. He's like, that's how you get people, man. He's all like, that's how you get people. And I was like, okay. So then I'm like, so what am I doing wrong then? And he's all like, honestly, he's all like, you talk about stuff that doesn't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he told me so then i'm like what do you mean it doesn't matter oh man it doesn't matter to to people our age that like you talk about nonsense you talk about old people stuff you know you talk about society and cultures like we don't care about that you know what i mean we don't we care about playing video games and doing stuff it's like you talk about too much too serious like it's too serious and you know younger generations are not gonna listen to that shit because it's it doesn't apply to us so you know so i started laughing and I'm like, son, everything that I'm telling you applies to you, and it will apply to you later in life. He's all like, I understand, I understand that, but it doesn't apply to me now. And he's all like, and if you want to have success and have more people watch your shit, you need to create a gaming channel. You play games, you're you're an old dude. And I was like, and he's all like, you know, people are going to watch you because you're old. And, you know, this kid's just like basically like you know, insulting me. So then I'm like, I'm not that old, man. He's like, dude, you're old, dad. You're old. He's like, but that's good. He's like, because, you know, when you play the games, you know, you suck, you know, and that's okay because you suck because you're old, right? We play, it's different, right? We play different. And he's like, but that's what we like to see. That's what us gamers our age and in the 20s and 50, you know, in their teens, we like to see that kind of stuff because they think it's funny because if you suck, it's funny. And if you're good, if you're if you're old and you're good at it, it's cool. So, like, it doesn't matter. Like, we like to we like to just watch videos, people just playing games all day. He's like, I like to watch that. He's like, sometimes I just sit there and I watch for hours just people playing games. He's like, I don't have to necessarily play. He's like, so that's what you should do. You should, uh, you should make a, a channel so you can, uh, so you can stream and play and, and play video games. Just play. Start with your regular stuff like Call of Duty and stuff like that, and then get into something else later, right? Like just, just keep going, right, and get better at it. Just get your name out there. So I'm taking advice, right? That's that's what this kid was saying. So I'm taking advice from this kid, right? So then I'm like, after he told me that I was old and that I sucked. And that I talk about nonsense, and uh, you know, and and I get it, right? He's at his age, you know what I mean. He uh, he's young, man. He's young, and you know, what I mean, the shit that I'm talking about on my podcast is boring to him. So then uh, I told him, all right. So what the hell do you listen to then on your podcast? On on for your like for podcasting, what like, well, who do you listen to? Like, oh, I listen to these dudes right here. So then I'm like, all right, play it. Let's see, let's see what they're talking about. How many views do they have? And these dudes have like millions of views, right? And I'm like, what the hell? He's like, yeah, check it out. So he plays it. And his dudes are just talking. Some dudes don't even show their face. They have their face blurred. You can't even see them whatsoever. And they're just talking stupid shit. Some dude has the camera to his stomach. 
He never shows his face. The other guy you, has a camera, like you see everything, but his face is blurred. And then two other guys, you can see their face. And these guys are all gamers and they all have, you know, this is a podcast, right? So they were, they were podcasting together. And I was like, are you freaking kidding me? They're not even talking about video games. And he's like, I know, they're just talking about bullshit. He's like, but that's what people like to watch, that. And I'm like, yeah, but they don't even know who this guy is. He's like, yeah, but nobody cares. And I was like, he's like, that's why I know, that's why I don't know why you keep doing those, vid- those YouTube videos. Nobody gives a shit. And I was like, damn. And so this kid was, this kid was in a roll, right? This kid was in a roll. So he's like, nobody cares about that, dad. These dudes don't even show their face. And look how many views they have. Look how many followers they have. And I'm like, look, look up to see how much these dudes make on YouTube. I want to see this. I think this is bullshit. So on YouTube, you can actually go look at the creator and it's public. Uh, you, you can see it's public information on how much money they make, right? Like the percentages, like uh, you can see their stats and how much money they make monthly from YouTube, right? It's public info. So he goes to the first one and this dude makes like, $30,000 a month. And I look at him and I'm like, are you shitting me right now? And he's like, no. Nah. What does this guy do that's so special? Nothing. And I'm like, what? So he's like, show me his freaking gaming channel. Go to his freaking stream channel thing. So he takes me to it and I couldn't believe it. I was like, this is bullshit. I'm like, are you kidding me? This guy makes this much money off of doing this bullshit? He's like, yeah. And I'm like, well, he's not doing nothing. He's like, I know. He's just fucking walking around with playing the story with a gun and saying stupid shit. And I'm like, but I, I can't do that. Like, naturally, I am not stupid like that guy. And he's like, I know that, but you're old. And that's the funny part about it is that you don't have to be like this guy, but you're naturally funny already. But you don't have to be like this guy. You just be yourself. So I was like, okay, go to the next guy. So he goes to the next guy, right? And uh, he's this guy has tons of followers, makes makes like fifteen thousand dollars a month uh, in revenue, like in, in in YouTube and all kinds of stuff. And I was like, what the hell? And this guy doesn't even show his face either. So I'm like, what the hell? He's like, yeah, nobody knows who this guy is. You just see like a blurred face in the background and him talking, like on his on his podcast. On his YouTube, on his gaming channel, is just talking. There's just playing games, talking, just not even actually like playing, just running around, throwing grenades. And I mean, it's wild the shit that these kids look at, right? And I'm like, this is what you look at? It's like, yeah. He's like, nobody cares about society and culture, dad, not our age. He's like, we care about gaming, bro. He's all like, this stuff is boring. He's like, you're talking about stuff that doesn't mean anything to us. He's like, we don't even know what the heck is that. We don't even know what you're talking about. And I was like, <sighs> he's like, you need to play games. You need to you need to make a channel. So after a a a, a while, right? After thinking about it, and I'm like, oh well, I already have a console and all this stuff, and all I gotta do is get the monitor, so I don't have to play on the TV in the living room and none of that stuff, and put it in the podcasting office room. And uh, I'm like, okay. So I finally said, all right. I broke down. I'm like, all right. I'm gonna do it. So they, you know, the kids helped me out. They they build me this Twitch and they build me all this stuff. And you know, they're guiding me. They're showing me what to do and all kinds of stuff. And you know, it's uh, it's different, right? It's different uh, <laughs> because uh, I I am naturally funny when I play games. You know what I mean? I just don't know. I just naturally get excited or. You know what I mean? It's, it's exciting to me. Game Video games are exciting. Uh, but I, I don't, you know, some of these kids are running around saying all kinds of stupid shit. And, you know, to me, it's just, uh, I just, I just don't do that. <laughs> Maybe if I was their age, it will be different, but uh, I don't, I don't do those kinds of things. But uh, yeah, so, you know, I went ahead and I did that channel and, uh, you know, he said, like, this is how it works, man. You do a Twitch and a gaming channel on YouTube and, all this stuff, and you'll start getting these, like, people People won't even care about your society and culture podcast. They'll just follow you and like your stuff because, and listen to it, or just follow it and download it because you're cool, because you're in gaming. He's like, it's just another tool, that That's all you need to think about it. It's just be yourself and play the video game. That's all you got to do. So I am. I am. And uh, <laughs> it's taking a little bit of uh, time to get used to it. It's, it's just another thing. For me to make videos and clip and get more and just have more shit in my plate. But uh, I'm doing it. I'm going to follow the 14-year-old 
Is that Vice? <laughs> who do, who do, there, people are going to be like, what kind of parent is this guy? He's following a 14-year-old's advice. Well, shit. You know what? These 14-year-olds, 15-year-olds, 16-year-olds are freaking smart when it comes to marketing. And they don't even have to go to school. You know what I mean? They don't even have to go to college. These kids are um, they're wizards at marketing, wizards at video gaming and social media and what's popping, what's trending, what's this, what's that. You know what I mean? So, I mean, they're geniuses, right? They're geniuses because their life revolves around uh, social media and gaming and, and all this stuff, right? Streaming and all this. So, yes, I am. You know, usually my son... My kids are supposed to take advice from me, from their parents, from mom and dad. But instead, I am now taking advice for my podcast from my 14-year-old. And uh, he, he, he thinks he wants me to change like the, the, the type of podcast that I have. He's like, you need to make it funner that you're making this podcast for old people. <laughs> so i was like i don't well i'm old man i don't know what else to, you know what, what do you want me to talk about you know what i mean it's like i had to talk about this and he's all like well you well i can't change it it is what it is all right then well then don't change it but then then make the make the twitch then make the video make the gaming channel so so that's what i did so you know like i said before sometimes there's just uh people kids or you know just People that you meet in your life that show up that are just better than you at, at things that uh, that took you a long time. Uh, and there's just or it's always going to be like that. There's always going to be somebody out there that's better, that's faster, that gets it. You know what I mean? You're never going to be the best at everything. And uh, I've, I've said this many times on my show is that there's always going to be somebody better, right? And and in this case, for instance, you know, this this young boy is just better at this. You know what I mean? He knows. He knows what what you're supposed to do. He knows what what you know what's what's going on right now. You know what I mean? And 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 it's, it's okay to take advice, you know, from from kids. You know, as long as it's not stupid advice, but it's, it's okay to take advice. You know, these kids are not kids anymore. These kids think more like adults kind of right when it comes to some stuff they're more advanced than we were when i was when i was his age i was still playing with gi joes you know what i mean and he's these kids are like way more advanced i have my my older son he used to have a gaming channel but he was banned because he's an idiot and uh he was uh he had over like 200 some thousand followers right and he was a pc gamer right and uh he all he did is play pc and uh, play all these games, but you know these kids start blabbing shit out, and I used to tell them go in their room. It's like, hey, shut, you know, cut that shit out. You know, don't be cussing or saying any type of bad shit or words. Well, they're saying it is like, don't matter. You know what I mean? Like, if you're gonna do your shit, I don't want to hear you. I don't want to hear you at all. You know, we don't want any. We don't want to hear your shit while we're eating dinner. You know what I mean? It's like, and that's not good for you to say it anyways. Like, don't be saying bad words or anything like that or insulting anybody. But you know what I mean? These kids don't listen. They're, they're still going to talk shit when they're playing video games. And, and I get it. You know, it's adults that start cussing each other out and shit, act like kids. But um, this kid had, you know, had 200 some thousand followers on his on his gamer channel, on his, on, his, on his YouTube and all kinds of stuff. And so he's helping me out, right? He's, he's obviously he's a lot older. He's uh, 19 years old. So he's helping me out with the channel and uh he can't I, I told him well give me your old channel because you already have those followers like dude I, I got banned big time like there's there's no there's no going back i'm like completely banned for life i would have to start a different channel and uh, it took me a long time you know because he started this channel when he was like 13 so he's been he was gaming since he was 13 years old just pc gaming and uh making his channel big uh but he never he never thought about the repercussions if you're constantly pissing people off and calling them names, so they banned his ass. And uh, now, you know, he's, he's, he's like, I don't feel like doing it all over again. He plays video games all, you know, all the time, but now he's, you know, he's older, obviously. And he, he's like, it'll take me a long time to get to 200,000 followers. And I was like, well, you know, it's, that's what happens, man, when you're out there talking shit. You know what I mean? So it's, you know, yeah. So... This is kind of a weird podcast, but you know what I mean? It's important because this is important that 
you know, this is part of my life. You know what I mean? This is part of me humbling myself and going, okay, I know I am the adult and I know I'm supposed to be giving the right advice, but I need advice from these kids. What should I do, kids? You know what I mean? Because that's the life they live in, right? That's that's their life is, is this, gaming and media and all. That's their life, you know? So they, they know this better than anybody else. And uh, so they're trying to help me out. They they constantly are telling me, "Hey, you need to download this game, or you need to play this game." And I was like, "Man, I can't do this weird shit where the dudes look like blocks. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I I just can't do it." So they try to get me to play PC games, and uh, they gave me a keyboard that lights up and all kinds of shit, and a and a mouse that lights up, and it's for whatever trigger action, this and that, and some bullshit. And I just couldn't. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't. Uh, I mean, you look at you look. I look at my kids play on the keyboards, and they're using their fingers so fast to move the guys around. And it's like, how? Like, I need a controller. You know what I mean? And it's just that they're they're skilled at it. They've been doing it for a long time. It's muscle memory. They know what all the keys mean. It's just I tried it for a couple of days, and they're like, you need to get into this and this and that. And I I I, I just said I can't. I'm like, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry to fail you, but uh, there's no way in hell that I can I can game with a keyboard. It's just uh, I would have to be reborn again in order for me to try to learn this shit. So uh, I'll play with the controller on my Xbox, and uh, we'll go from there. So that's what I'm doing. I'm streaming from my Xbox, and uh, you know, and playing different kinds of games, Call of Duty and uh, Far Cry and stuff like that. Uh, I'm just I'm starting with those, right? Starting starting slow with the stuff that I know how to do, and then later on I'll figure out what the hell I'm gonna do. But so far so good. I've been uh, I've been getting some viewers and this and that. So you know what I mean. Hopefully this helps my show, and uh, hopefully this this kind of propels me a little bit, you know, a little bit more. Sometimes we have to do things that with the trend, right? We have to follow the, you know, we have to change with the time. Like I said, we can't just stay obsolete. If you stay obsolete, you're not you're not gonna make it anywhere, right? You have to change with the time, and this is a time. Times are changing. You know the gaming the gaming world is crazy. Everything's crazy. You know, like the the media is crazy. So you have to be in the media. So that's why I had to put my TikTok back up because I was sick of TikTok. But my kids are like, you need to bring the TikTok back up. You need to make a TikTok video game. We'll, you know, and my son's like, I'll I'll make sure that I I'll do your TikTok for the gaming channel and this and that. I was like, damn man, why can't you do the tiktok for my bot for my podcast ah oh, dad i don't want to do that shit for your podcast that stuff is boring i was like oh, damn kids so apparently my podcast to 14 15 18 19 year olds is boring right it doesn't apply to anything in their life but maybe when they're in their 30s or 40s and they're married or they have a family maybe they'll go back to my podcast kind of like a bible and it's like ah oh, shit my dad talked about this when we were playing games Maybe, just maybe, right? But, uh, you know, learn, learn some things, right? That's what I mean. It's just uh, learn. I try to learn from everybody, right? Learn from everybody that makes that makes some kind of sense or that knows something really well. And uh, it doesn't matter if, you know, he's 14 or 18 or 20. If if that's what they do and they're good at it, you know, I will always, I will always listen, especially if it's my children right there. Uh, these kids are hardcore gamers, um, you know, I don't see anything wrong with gaming. You know, I am just one of those dads that, you know, they're, they're gaming, you know, they're not doing drugs. They're not out there, you know, robbing people. I mean, all they're doing is playing games. Yeah. Do uh, I don't, uh, I mean, I don't agree a hundred percent with it. I feel like they should be playing outside and concentrating, but we are a different generation. Right. And I talk about this on some other, um, some of my past episodes. So we're a different generation, right? It's different. This is this is cool. If I was born in this era, I would be playing video games too, right? It's just it's just the era that they're from, and I understand that they don't want to play basketball. You know what I mean? They want to play Minecraft and some other bullshit ass thing with dragons or whatever, you know, with swords. And I get it. You know what I mean? I I, I get all that. So um, as long as they they stay out of trouble, and uh, you know, that's my main. My main thing is like, well, you know, nobody's perfect, but I just want them to stay out of trouble. And if they're gaming and concentrating on gaming and stuff like that, you know, it's uh, I'd rather them do that than than do some some crazy ass shit. 
So, you know, I was a little different. I was into cars, so I was most of the time outside working on my car or, or modifying something on the car to go faster, which I'd rather them play video games than to waste their money and modify cars to go faster and get in an accident and any of that shit, right? So uh, I'm okay with that. So hopefully uh, I think they'll outgrow it and, uh, you know, they'll realize that there's more things more important than just video games, but I don't know. Maybe they'll make it. Maybe they'll be just like these dudes that make thousands of dollars to scream and shout stupidity at a game that the that you're you know that look like little blocks walking around with smiley faces. So stupid. Anyways, that's all I got for you all today. Um, this is gonna conclude the gaming episode. And uh, my stories of guidance from my children. And I'm trying to be more of a hip, cool dad, right? To them, me playing games, I'm cool now again. I'm like, I'm back to the cool, I'm back to the cool zone. Before, I was just an old dude. Now I'm back to like, that's cool again. And I, now they're like, they text me more like, what's up, pops? You you streaming or what? I'm like, yeah, when I get home, like in a little bit, I can't stream from my truck, bro. So, you know what I mean? So, um, I like to have a relationship with my kids. Like, you know, where they respect me for sure, 100%. Um, I taught them well. And also, you know, I like to have a relationship of friendship, right? Not just just not just not be their father. Um, that's how me and my dad are. My dad was, you know, was a really good father. But at the same time, we were friends, right? We, we developed a friendship. And, uh, you know, that's what I been trying to do with my with my boys is uh not you know i'm your dad and i already know they respect me i already know all that right um but i also want to be their friend so like and not like now i know their friends when they have developed their own friendships gonna be different but some somebody that they can come and say hey you know what dad uh, i'm having some issues with this some somebody they can feel safe and talk to me, not like a dad, but like a friend, like, hey, dad, you know what I mean? I'm trying to do this. What do you think? You know, this and that. So, you know, uh, I talk to them like we talk to each other like we're friends sometimes, you know, and uh, it's a good thing, right? We, we build a relationship of, of trust and uh, and fatherhood and friendship. And I think that uh, if every kid out there and every dad should focus on not just being a father all the time, but you know, level down to them and be their friend, right? Be, you know, not not their friend and go do stupid shit with them and you know like that or advise them to do the wrong shit. But you know, be a friend at a certain level, right? Uh, where 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 it's needed, right? And I, I I do the best that I can. Like I said, I'm not a perfect father. I'm not a perfect human being whatsoever, at all, right? I've I've made many mistakes in my life, and you know, the older I get, I realize the stuff that I'm like, man, I, you know, I should have done this better, you know, this and that, but there's nothing you can do about it, right? You got to keep moving forward and, and work with what you got. And, uh, you know, and, you know, I got, I got the kids, so, you know, I have a family, wife and everything. So, you know, I got to just, uh, I got to keep going, right? And I can't dwell in the past. So it's, if you take something from this episode, take a little bit of advice, you know, don't, don't be, don't be just a dad all the time. You know what I mean? Don't be the dad all the time. You know, you can once in a while, once in a while be their friend too. Until next time, peace. Thanks for checking out Bold Talk by Joe Podcast. We want to thank all our listeners and supporters around the world. You can listen to the show on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and YouTube Podcasts. And don't forget to subscribe. You can follow us on Twitter at Bold Talk by Joe and on Instagram at Bold Talk by Joe.